okay this was a custom room which i tried with android 6 or android 7 times and it was quite good i mean it was one of the most customizable custom rooms but right now with android 12 or android 13 it's not exactly like that the things are not exactly like that but it is still a very good choice and the custom room which we are talking about in this video is bliss os i made a video on android 11 to android 12 too so we have android 13 let's take a quick look and let's take a look at the things which we have in this android 13 version it's bliss custom room or you can say bliss os it is available for your pcs also if i'm not wrong not i'm talking about this custom room but this os is available for your pcs custom pcs which you can install with iso if you want to but i'm not sure about that if i move on to the quick settings panel as quickly as possible we have the dark quick settings panel background yes so in some custom homes we are having this thing for example like in pixel experience custom home project elixir maybe sorry not project elixir but evolution xos we have the same kind of things available here too the android 13 features are already there so not going to talk about android 13 features but the features which we have in bliss custom home i'll talk about all those things stay tuned for that this is the custom home which we are talking about as you can see the device which i'm using right now is redmi note 10 pro it's available for me 11x poco f3 redmi k40 redmi note 10 pro redmi note 10 pro max and we have many other devices you can go and check out the list i will give you the link in the description for all those things one thing let me tell you if I move on to the Google Photo Storage, you can see we don't have the unlimited Google Photo Storage. And this is a very, very big thing, I think so, because a lot of custom homes are giving you this option. And in this one, we don't have this. By the way, you can get that option by spoofing your device. And you can do that with the help of a Magisk module or LS Post module. There are many options available which you can go and check it out. But one thing is super good. This is about safety net status. If you install this version, you will have the safety net status pass. So you'll be able to use banking apps on a device. So yes, one of the positive things about this one. In settings UI, things are basically same. No UI changes. We have the stock settings UI. So that's something really good. I think so because more major changes which you will see in settings UI will not give you a good experience. It's just my opinion, of course. But the things which we have, let me show you some things. For example, if I move on to this battery option, what is different here? If we're able to notice this battery usage, view usage from the last full charge this is good i think so because in pixel devices you have by default view usage from last 24 hours but in this one we have the last full charge and this is a very useful thing other than else fingerprint options are of course present but no no face unlock yet including that no app lock app lock was expected you will not get but face unlock let's see when they will implement it's still not available in a lot of custom homes while making this video but yes we might expect that very soon here comes the main part where we have all those customizations the name is blissify animations buttons gestures lock screen power menu quick settings status bar themes and miscellaneous let's take a quick look at all of these options one by one in animations we have power menu animations and we have some screen off and quick setting tile animations as expectedly which are of course kind of usable and i think so you already know all of these things buttons only have two or three options for you like in playback control this is one of my favorite features which i always use on my device so that's already included in gestures no major options but swipe to screenshot which is quite useful and the system navigation settings for example the gestures where you have the option to customize some of the things no major customizations by the way but some of the customizations which are quite useful are already included same like that if you move on to the lock screen customizations charging info and charging animation are the two good useful options which are present here in power menu we have the opacity where you can adjust the transparency of your power menu which is a very useful thing quick settings only has the option related to brightness slider and the auto brightness icon and here comes some status bar customizations where we have status bar items 
privacy indicators which you want or don't want you can enable or disable that very easily theming section has some useful things like fonts in some cases these fonts are not working by the way i found those so this is what we have icons signal icons and icon bag everything you already know these were the things i just want to let you know you can see miscellaneous only has these options and the link is available in the description for all the supported devices if you want to install this thing thanks for watching i hope you like this i will see you in the next video until then goodbye